Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. In our previous session students we talked about that what do we mean by the shared reference and how the shared references works. Now in this session we are going to learn the internal storage in Android. Hi this is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin to understand what do we mean by the internal storage, how the internal storage works and when you need to use the internal storage. So students, when you try to install the application in your smartphone devices, this application has some internal storage over there in which you can store your files or I can say the application can store his data. So this data is bounded to the application scope only. Here, what is happening? Whenever you try to install your application, this all data gets deleted from it. Okay, so this is all about the internal storage. How can we get the file in the internal storage? So students, internal storage file you can get like this thing. In order when you try to get some functions over there for the internal storage, one is get file directory, another is get file cache directory. Okay, so get cache directory returns the absolute path of the file which you have created and get file directory gives you the absolute part of the directory of the file system where the files are created. Now, when the data amount is very much small, then you can go with the shared preference. In your application students, some data can be used by other application. Then you should not use the internal storage. Okay, because whenever you try to uninstall the application, it will affect to the data of that particular application as well. So, first you must be clear that do you want to uh, share your data from one app to another app? If is that so, then please don't go with internal storage. Next, students, uh, now it's time to learn about that. How can we write the internal storage? How can we write data in the internal storage? Fine. So if you know the concept of the Java input output or the file in the Java, then it is very much easy to understand the concept about internal storage in Android because it's nothing but here we are going to create the files with the file input and output streams and read and write the data with the help of them. So whenever students you want to write something uh, in the internal storage, you want to store what, something in internal storage, then you first just need to open up your file, write down the data over there and to write something you need file output string. So here it is, file output stream, open file output, file name and its mode and write the data with by calling the method get bytes. Do not forget to convert your string into the get bytes. So by just write the data by calling the function write function and close the output string. If you want to read something at the time you need file input reader. So file input stream is a string then you can get the data by character by character or line by line by call using the buffer reader, string buffer, I can say string builder. There are so many options are there with you. So you can use any one of the class from that. Here we have used like a string buffer class. Okay. And get the data character by character and append each and every data over there. And then do not forget to close your input stream as well. So this is nothing but it's just a file in Java by using open up into the writing mode a file output stream and a file input stream you can just write and store the data in your internal storage next what we are going to make students in this lecture we are going to make a application which contains we can say see this is the date thing which we are going to make we are going to make one application that contains one edit text over there you just need to write down something in the edit text Whenever you click on the right button, the, all the data stored in a newly created file and when you click on the read button, the program will read the data from the file and show you in the right ed edit text box. Fine. This is our main goal. Now, if you want to see that whether shared references or I can say whether internal storage files are stored, then choose. you can see from here. See, this is your internal storage. You just need to move towards the data under the data folder. Okay. For that, you just need to open the device file explorer. If some of you do not have device file explorer, then what to do? If 
for that see this is the storage part just click on the view button view menu is there like file edit view something debug so view button is there so click on the view menu go to the tool window find out the device file explorer and then this screen will be opened up fine in this you just need to find out the first data folder and the data you get another data folder and then you just need to find out your whole package name here students my package name is storage example where i have created my files lju underscore internal storage dot txt fine so in this you can get your data so now let's see how the internal storage works and how we can go with the live practical session so let's move towards the practical first so students uh, this is my internal storage example here why i have created so many files because i'm going to try to make a common practical for the android storage example i will definitely make it and show it to you but right now i'm just going to run my internal storage example that's why instead of the main activity so what i did i just cut it down from here and paste in the internal storage students no so now whenever i try to make run the application it will just run the internal storage example only fine so what we have see this is my internal storage example.xml file what i need let me just show you the whole code i just take one relatively out inside the relative layout, this is my text view the text view id is internal storage text view that shows the content like internal storage example on the below of that i am going to create an, one edit text width is match palette height is 300 dp id is internal storage edit text layout on the below of internal storage text so this is my text view on the below of that i am going to take one edit text fine now next we have one button that is used to read something and we have another button that is used to write something so this is the button let me just uh, okay open up like this wait a minute okay so you can easily view the code so this is my right button students it is on the left side of your here so I just put like margin start 20 dp text is right width and height is wrap content wrap content id is internal storage write data button okay and this is my other button that is known as read button that contains wrap content wrap content text is read and it is internal storage read data button fine now the margin start is 20 dp and align parent and is true because i want to align this read button on the right side of the screen okay so this is how i have created the internal storage button now let me just move towards directly to the code java code for the internal storage see you just need to map write down your uh, all the view components and map with the java file or i can say the xml file so i take one edit text which shows the internal edit two buttons are there that's why i take two buttons write data and read data one file name so i'm going to create a file name with the name like lju underscore internal underscore storage let me just change the name over here lju underscore inter internal underscore storage underscore live practical dot txt fine so this is my file uh, name this it is all not created right now okay fine so now what i need to do i just need to map my all data so i just mapped up like this like find view by id find view by id internal storage write button read button and edit text because i need only the i need to use only three things edit text uh, buttons red button and read button what i have i just need to apply the on click event on the write data button students okay so i just created a function like write data dot set on click listener now my whole code for the file input output is written over here see how to do that see let me just write down like file you need to file output stream fos okay so file output stream is object okay fos1 let me just keep it fos1 and create a new file by just opening into the where write mode okay so just write like this open file output and file name comma you just need to pass the mode in which mode you want to open your file it must be in a private mode because this is our internal storage so open file output it shows an error 
whenever this thing happens to you just need to click on alter enter so you just need to put your code in the try and catch method that's why it shows like this okay now next another code go inside over there and just try to write something in the file so fos1 dot write okay so what you need to write over here students whatever the amount of data you have written inside your edit text that you need to write so our edit text is which one is internal edit dot see this returns objects so you need to convert into the string dot to string method is there and when you will try to write inside the file you need to convert string to bytes again so let me just convert string to get bytes so this is how finally you can write your code now again it shows me the error because the write is also throws an exception that is what is IU exception so just put alter and enter again okay it adds want to add a catch clause so my catch clause is already added fine so this is how you can just write the data so it is very much simple to write the data in your file isn't it right so this is all about the write method okay now what happens now the next thing students so we need to learn about the read data so how to read the data so this is the reading data method so read data dot set on click listener first what i need to do i just need to take one string buffer over here okay so string buffer in which i'm going to store my each and every character which i want to take from my uh, file okay then file input string uh, of fis open file output file name then integer i is equal to zero i is equal to fis dot read is not equal to one here i'm going to take a uh, values by character by character from the file appended in the string buffer then close the file input string object fine so i think it is very much easy to understand to you right so this is the catch blocks are there because same as file output string you need to write down the file input string inside the catch block that throws file not found exception and io exception over there so at last what you need to do you just need to show the data in the edit text again so if you have seen i have just set text here right and edit text or set text null because whenever the write and function is completed whenever you have already created a file and write a data instantly my edit text will become empty okay so in the next scene when you try to read something you can see the data over there when you click on the read button edit text or set text whatever the data you have stored inside the string buffer all data will be shown to the edit text fine so this is how students you can do the internal storage now let me show that how can you open up your uh, device i can say the device file explorer so my phone is connected with my pc right now then and then you can able to see the device file explorer the device file explorer is here I can see the application over there whenever I try to build the application and I can see the find out the data folder inside the data folder then I just need to find out my project name my project name is com.example.android.storage.ex this is my project name okay fine so com.example you can easily write like com.example.android.storage.ex so this is my project name just open it you will find out the files over there okay and this is ljo.index.storage.txt see i have already run this program that's why this file is created whenever uh, we run the program again then i will show you that how it works see you can also find out your shared reference uh, when see in the previous examples or previous videos we have created the shared references right you can also find out shared reference inside the data data and shared reference files like this See in this example, I have created a just login and the address. Three values are there. Okay, for the shared references, that's why it shows me like this. Okay, I right now just let me show you the internal storage file that contains some amount of data. Whenever I try to uh, run the code, I will show you that how the internal file storage works. Okay, so now let's run the application and see how it works so here students what i did i just have the internal storage 
file see i have created the main activity file and that contains the four different buttons for the internal and external just do not worry about it you should not go like this just uh, create a new project with the name of internal storage underscore ex.xml file and then you should move towards your internal storage example dot java file okay so what i did i just changed my file name that means uh, live underscore practical dot txt file okay so let me just run the particular code let me just run this app and show you that how it works as an internal storage and how we can see the internal storage in our smartphone devices so uh, let the application run first here let me open the device file explorer also so we will get the better idea that how where our file gets stored see the in the internal storage our file gets stored inside the data folder and under the data folder again here we need to just find out our project name where our project name is com.example.androidstorage example fine so let the application run and see the output so, so this, this is my screen students this is the internal storage screen where i can write something so let me just write that uh, this is a live practical demo for internal storage in android okay let me just right click on the right button so file has been successfully written let me just click on the read see the same thing whatever i have written it is here fine if you want to see this file let me just open up the project like data data which file is created students with the name of live practical okay this is will be this should be created so project name is what is our project name like com dot example dot android storage so here it is android storage this is the files and this is the our main file live practical let me open it this is you can see it like this fine here the check one is this okay why it is like this let me just tell you let me just run the code again let me just open up the file delete all the content from the file okay uh, read the file then delete all the content from it like cut then android hello android okay so hello android hello android and just let me click on the right button so it is successfully written and read it again so all the data has been read it successfully let me just open the file again now you can see the android hello android fine so this is how students you can read and write the data in the internal storage so that's all about the internal storage in android i hope you understand it very well that how to find the internal storage file and it is most probably similar to the java because obviously it is java so it's just a java file input and output stream nothing more fine now in the next session we are going to learn about the external storage still if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much